Well, welcome to this section three of the course um, in which we will examine a very important issue, quite central really to the understanding of international human rights. And that is uh, the issue of when human rights may be subject to restrictions, to, to limitations, uh, for uh, whatever reasons uh, governments want to, uh, to, to, to restrict their, their reach. Um, essentially, it's important to emphasize that some human rights may never be restricted. They are considered absolute. And even if the government comes forward with very strong reasons um, to impose limitations, that will not be allowed. This is the case for the right to life, for the prohibition of torture or inhuman or degrading treatment or punishment, and for um, other very core rights um, in international human rights law, such as the prohibition of arbitrary detention. Um, most rights, however, may be restricted, but when a state wishes to impose limitations on the individual's rights, the state must put forward convincing reasons. And the usual um, regime of human rights restrictions is that um, three conditions are to be satisfied. First, the restriction must correspond to a legitimate objective. In other terms, there must be a very strong reason to impose restrictions on the rights of the individual. Secondly, um, the restriction must be in accordance with the law. It must be um, um, imposed transparently and the legal safeguards must be such as to avoid any risk of arbitrary limitations being, being imposed on the rights of the individual. And thirdly, the restriction must be proportionate. It must um, be one that is necessary for the fulfillment of the objectives pursued, and it should not go beyond what is necessary for that, um, for that objective to be realized. Um, so these conditions of legitimacy, uh, um, of uh, legality, and of proportionality usually define the regime under which the restrictions imposed on the rights of the, indiv of the individual shall be examined. And it is to these issues that um, this section is dedicated, a very important section, and I wish you the very best in conducting the exercises here. Thank you.